Hello, I'm John Parker uh, and uh, I'm Chairman of Anglo-American and National Grid and I'm very honoured to chair the, these 2010 uh, Non-Executive Director Awards uh, and which recognise the critical contribution that non-executive directors make whether they're in the public company sector or indeed in the voluntary sector. Well, what has been the biggest challenge this year for me personally? Well, I would say that it was moving into Chair Anglo-American uh, at fairly f short notice uh, when we indeed had a takeover prospect uh, on the company's lawn. And uh, I also then had to very quickly uh, refresh the board and build it, build a clear strategy uh, with the Chief Executive and the Board for the future. Well, in this post-financial uh, crisis era, all companies face uh, the challenge of what may still happen. We are hoping that double-dip recession in the UK will be avoided, and indeed in Europe, and particularly the United States. Uh, I'm optimistic, and I believe that we, we should avoid that with responsible management, and uh, but it is important for boards to be clearly very watchful and on their guard against the unexpected. Successful boards comprise a range of skills and a width of skills in their non-executive directors capable of tackling any issue that walks through the boardroom doors. However, one critical aspect, in my opinion, is the ability of non-executives to challenge and debate strategy. The board must own the strategy and must approve it. When it's approved, they empower the executive team to go out and deliver, and then the non-executives must hold the executive accountable for that delivery. That is a critical aspect of the role of a non-executive director. Given the importance that is now being attached to these non-executive director's awards, I would urge you to nominate those non-executive directors in your boardrooms that make a real difference to your company's performance.